I've been working on installing an airhead composting toilet in my RV and uh, I'm basically done and just a quick overview of what I did I had a regular RV flushing toilet I put a cap in the bottom you can buy that at a home improvement center so the black water tank is capped off then uh, to provide the ample space above the black ring I used a cutting board so I just ordered a cutting board um, uh, it's not Teflon but it's the hard plastic <clears throat> cutting board and uh, per the instructions in uh, Airhead I traced everything out as far as where the brackets go and all that and then I also uh, traced the whole kit out once I had it installed on there and cut the cutting board and then pre-drilled and countersunk the screws and, and mounted the cutting board to the floor. The water pipe that went to the original toilet I've modified and just capped it off and put a valve on it too. It, it, the only reason is because in case I wanted water later or also I can remodify all this if I don't care to use the composting toilet or when I sell the rig if somebody else wants to use a regular flushing toilet they, it's easy to convert back uh, the uh, toilet basically will go on here and lock into place on the side wing nuts and I missed it there we go and uh, then there's a top piece I probably can't do it with one hand but I'll give it a try <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the top piece will go on like such. You tighten the wing nuts down, um, and then there's also the the liquid waste uh, tank that comes up here. It also um, it goes this way first, and difficult to do with one hand. But basically, this goes up in there, and that catches the liquid waste inside. You'll notice there's a gasket here and another one here that keeps this air tight. Composting toilets work on the fact that you're going to draw air through this screened vent, keeps bugs out, and the air will be sucked out of this vent. Up this tube, there's another screened here, keeps the bugs from coming down from the roof. This is how I installed the electric fan that vents it. Um, I just could not put this on my RV with a star foam roof uh, with just one cap. It would just kind of go to the ceiling and then you put a vent on your roof. But that would also vent um, fumes from the composting toilet into the uh, ceiling as it goes up in. So I basically just used a one and a half inch uh, PVC pipe. This goes out to the roof for a vent. Uh, a one and a half inch uh, rubber clamp from pipe to the corrugated tube. And here's the electric, this side has got the electric fan. So it pulls the air out of the toilet and the composting solid waste area and pushes it up to the uh, roof vent. This fan gets its power through that wall and on that switch right there on the wall. And I just tapped uh, live voltage from this switch out of this behind this wall. So it's very quiet. There's a fan in the living room running, so I don't know if you can hear that one over this one, but this is very, very quiet. Here, I'll shut it off. And uh, so this is how I installed it. I used, uh, this is pretty soft Luan paneling. So I put a block on here with some uh, stainless steel, larger screws, and then the clamps for that. And then this pipe will come over and go in here and it's reverse threads. And so then you just turn this fitting here on the outside to screw that in. If you wanted to use this, uh, basically for men, you need to sit now. 
you don't want liquid waste going into here. This is the flush lever. If I trigger that lever, you'll see everything drops into um, like a peat moss or your composting material. You put a coffee filter here, let your number two solid waste hit the coffee filter, open this up, it drops in so you don't make a mess in the bowl. And when you sit, urine goes here to the front and goes into this storage tank. I bought an extra one um, so you can have a fresh one in case uh, it's raining out and you can't go dump one or something on that order. Uh, once you flushed, um, you would crank down here. You would crank it a couple of times to stir in the, the composting material with the solid waste. When you're done, you have to close the seat. No more leaving seats up. This makes the airtight seal, and when the fan is running, it pulls the air in here, dries out the solid waste, and vents it out the top. Um, I haven't had direct experience on uh, odors or smells yet because it's brand new, but I've been told that it, if you do smell anything, it's typically uh, like a rotting wood smell and that is way more pleasant than the sewer. The previous toilet and working with the black water tank was not delightful. When you, lick, when you mix uh, the liquid waste and the solid waste you get raw sewage and then that, uh, now for a lack of better term, ferments and uh, creates odors that you just don't like and it still gets back in somehow through the vents from the black water tank on the roof you just so we're done with that we'll have the black water for black water tank has uh, the sink water drains into it so but the the biggest pro on this is no longer going to sewage uh, dump stations and uh, we're probably going to use considerably less water when you're flushing a toilet now the fresh water tank will last much longer so uh, that's it in a nutshell.